Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and this is 22nd or 21st video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to create scheduled tasks for virtual machine snapshot. So basically uh, you can f uh, schedule few things in your uh, virtual machine properties to get the things uh, happen automatically on different different schedules like you can schedule power on power off take snapshot clone migrate reset everything uh, from virtual machine uh, uh, for like independent virtual machine itself so from here you can see if you go to a virtual machine and monitor and task an event you will go, uh, you will receive this scheduled task and from there you can schedule uh, take a snapshot so basically the um, you can take a snapshot anytime just you need to click right click on a virtual machine and just go ahead and click the snapshot so basically what is benefit of scheduling schedule uh, basically a scheduled task uh, for the virtual machine snapshot like uh, you have some activities is planned in coming week or coming days and uh, you have to take uh, your like application team or server team requested you to take the snapshot on a uh, certain uh, certain date or time to make sure like if something is uh, went wrong in the migration you can uh, go back and revert the snapshot and get the virtual machine in healthy status so that time you always uh, it's good to perform like scheduled tasks so and make sure the virtual machine is going to give you the update once the uh, like uh, on a particular time snapshot is going to be taken care automatically you don't need to come on VCSA and go uh, and need to uh, take the snapshot for the virtual machine so it's better to t schedule the task and uh, VCSA is automatically going to take care of the snapshot of the, that particular particular virtual machine on the same time so you uh, you can you uh, you are basically you can uh, schedule the task so you you are not going to for uh, if you are going to forget that uh, you need to take the snapshot or anything then uh, it can be easier for you so let's go and see what we uh, we can do in this demo so this is my Active Directory server which is just I'm giving you background of my infrastructure so this is my Active Directory server win 2 k 12 dc one and this is my uh, domain name victorinfosol.local and IP address of my domain control is 192.168.0.201 so this is my Active Directory server and this is my vCenter server if I double click on here and launch the VMware vSphere web client and I'm going to log in with the, my Windows session authentication and I have two ESXi hosts which I'm using in last few videos so ESXi 01 and here is our ESXi 02 so both are like um, ESXi host in one cluster which we have in uh, this environment so in data center India we have cluster called prod and this cluster we have created two test machines one is running Windows 2012 which is win 2 k 12-01 so I'm going to schedule the task to take a snapshot on this particular machine so if you go to monitor so before scheduling tasks you have to make sure one thing you have enough free space in your data store to get the snapshot otherwise it's going to fail so you need to go and check the uh, where the machine is residing in a data store having enough space to create a snapshot and once you verify you have enough space in data store then you you are good so let's verify data store first so here this machine is uh, sitting on this data store which having enough free space so uh, basically I can go in cluster and see we have enough free space in this da particular data store which having like uh, around 637 gig of uh, storage of, uh, complete and it's using uh, very less so which is good so data store you can go and verify the storage what you have so four disk of each is 151 gig and we have enough free space in this data store cluster so this is good now we can go back so you just need to make sure you have enough free space to create a snapshot so this is good now I'm going to click on monitor and we have task event and schedule task so in schedule task you can go here and schedule a new task and from the bottom you can see 
take snapshot and if you click on OK here it's going to give you the snapshot details so you can make it like win2 k12 0 1 before you can say windows patching or something whatever you was to name it like windows update uh, like you are going to take the uh, schedule that uh, snapshot before windows patching so it's always good to have a, pa a snapshot before windows patching so go there and you can see the name of uh, the task name take this th take vm snapshot for this which is going to be so you here task name under so this is good and now you have a special option here configured schedule so no schedule configured so if you click on change here you're going to see multiple options here like run this action now run uh, this action at a startup when you're going to start the virtual machine and delay you can set and then it's going to run and this is option you can schedule on what date like if you wish to run on 31st March you can go there and you can set the time also like 6 0 0 p.m. you can set and when you click OK it's, you can see it's going to be saved once on this date and this time and you can also sh uh, set name to whom you want to set uh, like uh, email so this is going to send email so on this email id so you need to make sure smtp is configured in vcsa to send uh, send emails and notifications so let's verify more options so when you click on change you can see here start a recurring schedule so you can always schedule on a recurring basis like so like it's always going to run on whatever time you are going to set like run every 5 hour hourly basis you can schedule like uh, daily basis also you can schedule on weekly basis like if you wish to run on every Friday at some time like uh, let's run it 8 p.m. and when you click OK it's going to run every first week Friday at this time so if you go here change you can see recover every first week on this so you can change it as per your requirement also and you can set it to month also so when you want to run like first Monday or you can set it first Friday you want to run on ev uh, for every one month you can set and go and set up so you can see here every one month or uh, on the first Friday of the month so this is all setting uh, some advanced setting when you can schedule uh, the task and it's going to run automatically so just I'm going to set up now run this to show you and click OK and then I'm going to click OK and now you can see when I click OK it's going to because we have set up a uh, run task now you can see create virtual machine snapshot is started and it's going to run on the and it's going to take the snapshot very soon and then we can see so I'm going to click on here basically you can go here and verify the snapshot it's not created yet it's still creating so you can see uh, we need to wait for a few seconds to get the snapshot created and then we can verify that the snapshot has been created or not so 63 percent completed let's wait for a few more seconds here so almost done and now it's completed and now if you go here and refresh this and right click and go to snapshot manage snapshots you can see we got one snapshot with the virtual machine this name and before windows update so the snapshot has been created and disk use you can see how much disk is consumed by this snapshot and all other details so this is good and you can also verify snapshot for the virtual machine memory is also marked as a yes so this is good 
so this is all about how how we can create a scheduled task for virtual machine uh, snapshot so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye